Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the Imperial Japanese Navy. Last time when we left this series we were still battling a massive American task force of two battleships, uh, a Saratoga carrier and a collection of destroyers and cruisers. We have managed to sink the Saratoga, a couple destroyers. Uh, we've managed to damage a Pensacola, not too heavily, but we have managed to rather heavily damage a uh, battleship there one of the North Carolinas they were carrying. So uh, the object of today is to hopefully <laughs> wipe it out for good. We shall see exactly how that goes. The plan so far is to keep retreating with Yamato Task Force, um, pincer us in with our other surface task force, our newly created surface task force with three heavy cruisers. Um, but we're also going to push in with our closest submarines. And the idea there is to uh, hit and sink the undamaged uh, battleship there and then perhaps move in for a surface engagement with the uh, rest of our task forces. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, of course, uh, things don't always develop exactly how I want them to. So we, let's, uh, let's f keep our fingers crossed and uh, go in, shall we? Have a look at that. So uh, first things first, we are going to make sure our Kates here are retreating. Let's just uh, tab through there and indeed they are. We do have a, or a roof uh, scouting over, just providing uh, some size and support over there. That's not a problem. Um, what we could do with the Hyabsas is of course keep them in the area just to uh, keep contact with the enemy task force. We can track its movements, not a problem there. Um, and we are unfortunately going to have to send uh, the Hiyo and the uh, Ryuzo back to uh, Ribble at the same time to replenish their air groups, which is a massive shame. But uh, it's unfortunately going to have to be the case now where we are running extremely low. Uh, not a uh, ideal size um, or not an ideal amount of uh, air groups on either of those carriers now at all they have been battered in the last couple of attempts to hit the uh, current task force but not a problem uh, we do have other means to protect ourselves so uh, we're gonna hit play now and uh, see how if we can uh, there we go which way are they going they are going towards Yamato, which is slowly moving away. Uh, we'll just have to uh, increase the speed and see what we can do with that. Encounter Guadal Canals, just uh, some scouts, not a problem there. Let's keep going, see what we can do about this. It does look like the enemy group does want to retreat, but it might catch up with our Yamato a little too quickly. Exactly what is the distance there? Um, the 45 kilometers. Uh, I've had a few comments asking how we use this rangefinder here. It is the backslash button. Um, just so people know, and make that clear for everyone. Going to try and redirect our submarine so it goes north of this little island. Although, um, a little bit worried that might. Yeah, that's certainly not the course the Americans are taking there. So we are going to try and catch them in between uh, Guadalcanal and the uh, island here. Let's see if we can get them there. We're going to get a little bit closer. I'm not going to move uh, time too quickly, just so that uh, we don't pass through the Americans. We are going to enter tactical view, I think, about now. We can see a few dive bombers coming in, actually. Uh, or torpedo bombers, rather. That is a little bit uh, worrying. I'm hoping uh, they're just uh, running out of fuel from uh, the Saratoga there because that's rather a lot. That would suggest perhaps the Wasp is about still, because a, uh, a Bogue isn't going to launch quite that many. But uh, that's probably the least of our worries at the moment. We're going to enter tactical view now, see if we can catch this task force. Do have a roof and such in the area, but it's not going to be needed. We are right on top of them, supposedly. And there we go. What exactly is our position there? Okay, they're extremely close. Perhaps we shouldn't have come out uh, or come into tactical view so quickly, but not a problem. Uh, what is the leading ship here? It is a uh, Crown Colony, um, and the leading battleship is the damaged one. So uh, we're going to target this one, the pristine battleship, and uh, we're going to try and sink that outright here. So first things first, we're going to identify that um, as a North Carolina. Let's go over to that. Where are we? There we go. Brilliant stuff. Um, we might want to... Um, do we want to dive? That's the question. 
think we will dive just a little bit under periscope depth to 20 meters just so they can't see our reflection in the water there and of course we are going to move into a better firing position there just turn around a tad i am a little bit worried about the cavitation here causing uh, an easy target for their sonar to go out so this might be rather difficult we might want to just uh, reduce our speed quite a bit there so that we don't cause any cavitation but we will have of course have to go to periscope depth once again when we decide to strike the enemy which is going to be a bit of a problem of course going to just uh, go down to three knots and uh, maybe two knots I think we'll be well I think we'll get away with this sort of angle when we fire yeah there we go that will reduce the cavitation there uh, what's the number seven ship that is a destroyer and that will be able to easily spot us it's going to be very, very tight indeed, and they do actually have a scout in the area. Um, thank God we aren't at periscope depth because it doesn't look like we'll be able, they'll be able to see us at the moment. So actually, what we're going to do is just stop completely and wait for them to uh, pass over us. I think the Crown Colony does have uh, sonar, I believe. Goes to sensors and armor. It does it does not? Okay, so no active sonar or passive sonar on the crown colonies, which is very good news indeed. That is a very nice bit of information there. Actually, we could of course use our roof, which is going into uh, hit the um, the scouts here, which is actually rather useful. Let's uh, increase its speed to max so it can get in rather easily. We do have some habitats in the area in Torius, but that's not going to be uh, very useful. Not going to plan on strafing anything today. I don't think. Uh, you know what? Our uh, solution is pretty decent. Uh, just waiting for a flatter broadside, really, because the current angle is a little too tight for me. I don't want to uh, hit from uh, this sort of uh, angle here. I want to hit from a much flatter angle. Uh, we are struggling a little bit with the uh, the uh, Kingfisher here. Uh, what if we decide to... No, we can't change the speed of the roof to help its turn. That's not a problem. But uh, we are going to go to periscope depth now. I think that would be rather wise. We are going to move to uh, one kilometer, so one knot speed rather. And the scout is taken care of. So we should be okay to sit at periscope depth for now. And we will leave our um, speed and such at the moment, I think. Do have a very nice solution, like I say, though, at 96 uh, now, averaging 95, let's say. So that is very, very nice indeed. But so, like I said, I'm just waiting for that slightly flatter broadside to hit. Uh, let's get our torpedoes ready. We are going to fire all six. It's a one degree, maybe a two degree spread if we're that close and we do get the flat broadside just to make sure we hit as many compartments as we can um, don't want to focus all of our fire on one area that will not sink the ship uh, as far as I am concerned so don't need to wait too long now we are going to stop so that we're not uh, causing uh, so much sound getting a very very nice solution indeed as well very very useful there might just I uh, don't want to compress time just in case we overdo it so I do apologize this is a uh, waiting game at the moment hmm, I'm not gonna bring up our periscope either but I'm thinking that's actually not so bad now we want to fire before they react so let's go for it absolutely go for it all torpedoes fired Looks like they're struggling behind here with the Pensacola. There's a bit of uh, there's a bit of gappage behind the uh, battleships and the Pensacola. I wonder if we hit their engine or a funnel perhaps uh, too hard. But uh, that's decent. Looking very nice indeed. If we miss, I will rage so, so hard. We do need to go down now uh, and escape, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, the destroyer actually a little bit behind, which is very nice indeed. So we are actually going to reduce our speed a little bit. And hopefully, these will be a very nice hit. Let's uh, get rid of the UI very quickly so we can see that's a bit clearer. 
You can see the stream just over here. I think that's looking very nice indeed. This could be a sunk battleship if we don't have any duds. Oh, come on. Ooh, was that, is that what I think it was? Was it a, it was a very cheeky magazine explosion and that is nice like coconut rice. <laughs> <laughs> very very useful magazine explosion there we can certainly wait around um, to see how that develops that is a downed battleship and something has come up on radar roof uh, contact with aircraft let's see what that would be is that another scout it does appear to be some stray wildcats actually uh, it doesn't look like they're pursuing our submarine with anything which is brilliant stuff can hear the faint uh fainter glint of uh, sonar there so they might have an idea of where we are but that is sunk and that is excellent news that's what we've been waiting for for so so long so let's just take a second to review exactly what's in this task force now we have a damaged North Carolina uh, we have two crown colonies a damaged Pensacola um, not overly damaged now I think it has recovered uh, quite well but other than that we have uh, two destroyers as well a porter and I think either a Benson or a Gleaves here they're very similar looking designs so um, it is possible we can get rid of this actually um, I'm a little bit worried about the damage on, to the damage on Tone um, but I think Yamato should be able to deal with this fairly handily I think just for my luck though I'm gonna sink this battleship before we go with a submarine I think before we go into uh, before we go into a proper surface engagement so let's retreat before anything bad happens and yeah moderate damage and heavy damage over there which is very very nice indeed and of course I forgot we did get two torpedo hits on the number five crown colony there which is excellent news absolutely brilliant there so what we're going to do is uh, carry on retreating with the Yamato and actually that's going to turn into a uh, catch-up uh, game now. Uh, we are going to move out a little bit with I-9 just so we keep in contact with that and see how that develops really. Uh, we sh probably don't need to wait uh, to go into tactical view uh, before we see anything. It does look like uh, what we've got here. Two Torius. I do want to uh, just source out to uh, see what's going on over here first I'm afraid. Going to interrupt that action. I think we're going to skip ahead to see if uh, we find anything here. Otherwise, I shall see you on the tactical map, if not. And unfortunately, nothing sighted there, so I do apologise for the little break there. But we do need to make sure uh, we get everything possible. It does look like we have something coming in here. We might want to uh, see if we can launch any aircraft here. We can't, so that is rather a shame, actually. We're just going to have to uh, take the brunt of that if we can, then. Um, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, we're going to uh, just go into tactical view now and I'll see you uh, once we uh, do actually re-establish contact with that uh, surface force. Okay, so we have come into contact with that surface force uh, after trying to go in and out of the tactical view a few times. Um, they, I think we do have uh, an enemy scout in the area. That's what it looked like on the uh, strategic view. So we are just going to go to 20 meters below sea level. And of course the target this time is the damaged battleship. And then we can move straight in with the Amazo task force and wipe the rest of them out there. That would be absolutely ideal. Uh, of course we hadn't quite made contact because our position is uh, they are dead to our uh, starboard there. We do need to uh, actually face them properly. Only just gaining sight of them now. Of course we do have a Kingfisher in the skies as well so we are thinking about that. We are very close actually. Exactly what is the distance? Oh, under two kilometers there so we are going to have to be very careful. Um, let's get rid of that target and actually target the battleship there. Um, uh, like I say identify that once again as a North Carolina which is just down here. There it is. And let's just watch our speed very quickly. We might want to just watch our cavitation once again. Don't need to turn too hard actually and we will get a very nice uh, line against the North Carolina there with that sort of position. In fact once that uh, scout has perhaps moved out of the way 
we will certainly think about going to periscope depth because we can miss our opportunity very easily here I think um, if they pass us uh, too quickly how many torpedoes do we have ready we have six excellent stuff and then we should have six afterwards I am going to launch the full spread of six here and I'm going to stop turning actually and I am going to go to periscope depth now uh, the sea state is four, so it should be fairly difficult for them to see us uh, from the air. And we do now have a very nice uh, solution, so we are going to fire that off as soon as we get to periscope depth and just take the opportunity as it comes right now, I think. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff indeed. And then we can emergency dive down to another uh, 20 or 30 meters below sea level and uh, retreat to the rear of their formation I think would be a good idea. So if we do that right now, that would be amazing. What do they actually have at the rear? Yeah, a very a massive lack of sonar to the rear, which is excellent stuff. We can see the torpedoes coming over to in the distance here, which is brilliant. If I, again, if we miss, I will rage so, so hard. <laughs> And there you have it, the battleship is finally sunk. So we are going to move this submarine to the Shortland Islands to resupply and we are certainly going to go in with the Yamato Task Force. Now this should be an easy kill. So long as we get in range of this, of course, uh, that's not going, shouldn't be a problem there at all. We are going to cut them off very, very handily there. Um, we are still worrying about the torpedo bomber threat that's about. We did sight one in that engagement. Unfortunately, our roof was shot down by some uh, hanging on wildcats there before it could down the torpedo bomber. But uh, that's going to be something we need to think about after this uh, engagement, I think. So uh, let's uh, move on, zoom on over to that and see if we can uh, finally remove this massive, massive threat. Okay, so we have made contact with that surface group and we are both in an awkward position here because we both have the islands uh, very, very close to us indeed, which means uh, they can't manoeuvre too easily, but neither can we. Um, we, I think we have the slightly better position here, but they do have the option of going behind uh, this little island here for cover uh, which will take more organization than we believe so we are just going to issue some orders out Yamato will certainly want to fire on the uh, Pensacola over here so let's just identify that very quickly and go through there so Pensacola lovely stuff let's get uh, hold off on our fire just at the moment to build up our solution with our main battery guns we are going to fire with our main or well, with our secondaries rather um, I th it's, I'm debating whether uh, putting a full layer of smoke on our formation uh, we do have a single dive bomber coming in I don't think that should be too difficult or too much to worry about a single torpedo bomber rather uh, but I might want to lay some smoke just to help us maneuver around a tad but I think we should be fine if we just tell our um, group to circle around like this a tad and then we should be brilliant like that so uh, we are going to get some more orders off of course uh, we're going to get our destroyers to focus on the leading benson over here like so um, where are we benson 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 down here it could of course be a gleaves as well but it seems we switch between them the uh, absolutely no difference there between the uh, hull structure and stuff so we're just going to leave it at Benson because that's the one we prefer at the moment and we can fire out like that. Let's get some spotting fire with that. Forgot to actually tell our Akazuki to fire which is always rather useful. Um, Naganami can actually fire on that as well. 
Uh, if we go over there, brilliant stuff. Mogami and Tone can fire on the Pensacola. Where is that? Actually, no, we've got the Yamato on that, so we are going to fire on the leading light cruiser here. Uh, where are we? Crown Colony. Brilliant stuff. Just going to identify the second one as well while we have that up. Uh, yeah, like so. And get some AP narrow spotting to start with. Actually, no, we'll go straight away from spotting. We are so close, I don't think it's particularly needed. Uh, Tone can do the same as well, so we get that down fairly quickly. Excellent stuff. And uh, the Eagle Eye among you may have noticed, of course, we did uh, strike a uh, stray torpedo on our previous engagement onto this porter. So we are going to start firing on that, I think, with a couple destroyers there. Should be absolutely fine to uh, tangle with that. Uh, just identify it to make things a little easier there. And that will be absolutely brilliant. Oh, in the words of the Japanese, uch kata hajime. Let's get this ruddy bloody thing started, shall we? Going to watch the um, solution of the Yamato first, of course, and uh, see what we can do about that. We do, of course, have these planes to think about as well. So our secondaries will be firing out on those to begin with. That's absolutely not a problem. I'm very tempted to get some sort of torpedoes off against uh, this task force here, actually. Um, certainly against the uh, leading uh, ships there. In fact, I might get a manual fire out in just a second. We shall start to see, I think. And indeed, I think we are going to start thinking about getting a torpedo spread off. Uh, we're going to go for a full spread with both tubes. That's it's about four degrees. Uh, where to put it is the question. Not to practice with our manual spreads, but I think just uh, there in between uh, them and the island to make sure they have absolutely no turning power there. Nowhere to escape. So we are taking some major hits now onto this destroyer, which is rather, rather sad. I do think we're going to start losing that. But first, uh, we're going to start ignoring that. <laughs> And uh, see how we're going to go with our Yamato onto this Pensacola. Really um, want to get a massive hit onto there. So fingers crossed for that. But I think we are going to lose a couple destroyers in this again. There we go. Massive hit onto the bows of the Pensacola. Very, very nice indeed. That will be going down very, very soon. The large calibers of uh, our Yamato guns. Very nice indeed. But how are our uh, cruisers doing there? Hmm. Yeah, it could be doing a bit better maybe. Getting a few glancing shots on to the crown colonies there. But we have something over here. A very cheeky Avenger is going for the rear of our Yamato and this is not looking good at all. We don't have the rudder shift. We have such a thick, thick rear that um, we are likely going to take a torpedo here. We can only hope it's a dud. Of course, uh, sod's law, isn't it? When you have a massive formation of your own, uh, you can't hit down a single plane, but when the enemy has a formation like this, they shoot down all of your planes. Because, you know, that, that never happens, does it? You know, bias, what? But that might just hit us right on the deck. No? Is it done? Oh, no! <laughs> Two broken components there, some permanent flooding. Could have been a lot worse, though. It hasn't taken out our propellers or our rudder. Uh, which would make our Yamato pretty much uh, inoperable there. Of course it would have uh, its guns about, but uh, maneuverability is certainly something we want. But we are going to watch our turn now, just to make sure we don't hit our own ships on a collision course there. How's the Pensacola doing though? We should be getting some more hits onto there. Uh, hopefully getting something decent. Oh, but our... Oh no! <laughs> That's instantly going down! Poor, poor Yugamo! <laughs> poor, poor Yugamo! <laughs> Oh, please, everyone, F in the chat, shed a tear for our long-serving Yugamo. And this is uh, what I was saying a few minutes ago, that uh, we are likely going to lose a couple of destroyers here, simply because uh, the Americans have a massive amount of uh, firepower, just in volume of firepower, um, on their cruisers and such. Uh, because we are so close uh, to the enemy there, uh, it is going to pose some problems for our destroyers. I am a little bit worried about our um, cruisers, though. Uh, because they are, have taken some minor damage from previous engagements, uh, but we are once uh, thinking about that, and like I say, get a stop turning with our Yamato and get a, a steadier course on there so that we don't cause any friendly collision there. Should now uh, just straddling the target there with the Pensacola. 
Um, but yeah, we, are, we should be okay. Gonna get another manual fire out on that in a second. It's not going at the fastest speed. It does have the uh, island to uh, think about there. I am gonna move our formation round so we get a better shot onto theirs. Perhaps we get on the flank of them and reduce the amount of guns firing at us. That'd be very nice indeed. How are we doing with the reload here? I think we're doing okay. So we're gonna go in for another manual fire. Just zoom in there and see if we can get that. The trick with manual fires is actually to, um, of course, get the lead down, but uh, once you think you have that down, actually fire a little bit past the ship itself, just to account for vertical spread of your guns. And we'll wait for that to see if that goes in there. We've not got a lot of travel time on that. It does look like we're getting some decent hits there. And with the caliber of our guns, we don't need the most direct hits there on the midships, which is brilliant stuff. Um, so let's take a look over our torpedoes don't look like they're gonna hit anything how's the crown colony here doing looks like uh, it's getting some minor hits on it and this one over here very very strange indeed because uh, let's get the um let's get the Yamato firing on this one I think now the Pensacola is down which is brilliant stuff uh, yeah that one would be further away we're gonna turn around our Yamato now I think just uh, to make sure we do get all of our guns firing uh, we are going to get moving a little bit quicker, I think, with our main formation there because uh, we are sitting ducks really, we're going very, very slowly. Uh, we might want to start thinking about uh, some smoke screens. Well, it's a little bit too late now because look at the massive damage on this destroyer here. That is quite likely going to go down now, so we are going to get some smoke screens off with everything. Uh, again, a little bit late, but uh, better late than never. Yeah, that's. <laughs> But uh, I think uh, that will uh, help us a little bit. Uh, we'll reduce our own solutions a bit. But uh, all in the name of preservation there, I think. Certainly a bit better. How is Yamato doing? Should pr probably uh, stop turning so much to starboard so we get all of our guns firing properly on that crown colony there. Be very, very nice indeed. Do see some splashes coming in around uh, the Mogami there. Uh, but I think the biggest threat now is actually a collision. So we are going to stop uh, turning so hard and again reduce our speed and turn to port so that we don't go colliding and crashing straight into the Mogami and break its hole like that. Okay, so we've jumped ahead a little bit here. Not a lot has happened, but we are worrying a little bit about our solutions with our heavy cruisers here on the uh, Crown Colonies because they're the massive threat now. So, of course, the Pensacola is down. I'm going to try getting some manual shots out. So, we're going to try that old trick. Do like to uh, go to the manual shots now and then, as you have seen in previous uh, videos and, of course, just a second ago. So, what we're going to do is try leading just a little bit with the. Um, Crown Colony here as it's turning in, so we might want to think about last a little bit. Um, going fairly slowly though, it could certainly be going faster there. I'm uh, just going to sort of try and think with that turn in that it's doing. I think we should be just about okay there, but it will be a trial and error for sure. Just going to try waiting and see how I like goes should be a lot of travel time over there see these secondaries going out over there do get some minor hits we're fairly close over there onto the rear of the ship um, so that will start to stay, uh, get some fires on there and sustaining fires uh, in the future we're just a little bit off with our tonnage shots there by the looks of them crashing down just a second afterwards uh, so we are going to account for what appears to be a slightly uh, sharper turn now how's the Yamato doing actually uh, we might want to get some manual shots out here, and indeed, I think we're going to start thinking about that. Um, just because uh, it doesn't look like we're getting so many decent shots out on that Crown Colony. Did miss a tad with our cruisers over on this one, which is a bit of a shame there. Yeah, just straddling the rear of it there. Could it have to give a little bit of a uh, further lead on that? How are we doing over here? Probably want to actually start firing it. That might help a little bit. <laughs> doesn't appear again to be going too quickly so we're just going to fire straight ahead it's not turning either which is rather advantageous for us and I see the Makanami is sinking as well that did uh, lose all of its gun and torpedo power succumbing to the massive floods and fires it was taking so that's the second destroyer down and the second Yugmo down of this battle as well which is rather rather unfortunate uh, we are going to try and get some more shots out onto this crown colony I think and we'll see how we feel after we've uh, sunk these, about uh, actually calling it quits um, at the end of the battle. If we can do uh, these uh, two ships without losing any more destroyers, I think uh, we'll try and hunt down the rest of theirs, the uh, American destroyers, 
but otherwise um, how are they actually looking? They're looking quite clean actually. The uh, Benson over there not looking too damaged at all. Should probably think about uh, um, upgrading the uh, or updating the um, identification of that to a Gleaves because I think that's hindering our um, our solution there a bit. Uh, but our solution on the Crown Colony isn't great either, is it? Which is why we're going for these mangas. We are straddling it, uh, but it's looking better now. It is slowing down. This one seems to have not taken any damage at all. So how are we doing with the Amos over there? This uh, destroyer, of course, taking some fires as well. So starting to think about that as well. Might change that over to the director where the fire is as well. That might have something to do with why our solution is so poor. What are we uh, firing at over here? I think we might want to change over to the porter just because it's a bit closer to us there. Uh, let's see about that. How are our solutions? Not looking too bad. We are still firing. Let's uh, make sure they're firing to hit there. How are we doing with Akizuki? Yeah, that is firing. Just change it over to Porsa there. Make sure it's firing brilliantly there. That should be a bit easier. Should down that, I think, in no time with the concentration of fire there. That's not looking so bad at all, is it? Okay, looks like we're in a very nice position now. Just uh, a bit of a shame we have lost those destroyers, really. We're waiting for these shots to land in on this crown colony. Might just go back to the uh, automatic fire on that though. It does look to be going rather slowly though. Yeah, the speed is 10 uh, knots, so it might actually just keep up with the, um, the manual fires. Like so. There we go. I think it'll be alright like that, won't we? Yeah, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Let's carry on. Uh, like so, it is going rather slow again. Let's move in a little bit there, should be okay. Okay, so Yamato has done its job and sunk this uh, rear crown colony, which is brilliant news. And we are coming now behind this island, so we are going to have a bit of trouble actually uh, hitting anything now. So we are going to reduce our speed, perhaps, uh, to a halt now. Sounds a tad risky, I know, but I do want to keep line of sight onto the Benson here. Um, and, of course, the Porter, which isn't doing too well itself, as I don't think we've got any hits on that uh, recently. Which is rather sad, actually. Um, probably going to get the Yamato on that. I uh, might actually get it to help out. Uh, we'll see how these next shots land uh, onto this Crown Colony. It does look very nice. It is dead in the water now, so I think our um, cruisers will be able to handle that all right, actually. So, uh, yeah, let's get Yamato onto the portal there. Get it firing some HE, and indeed that has stopped, which is brilliant. Absolutely great news there. So, those are the main threats uh, downed. We can, of course, if we wanted to, um, retreat now, but I don't really want that to be the case. I am going to start firing on Benson. Akizuki suffers magazine explosion. No! <laughs> Just as we were uh, looking decent as well. Just as victory is certainly within sight. This is not good at all. This has been bloodier, um, a heavier losses than uh, we needed, actually, than we were expecting. Horrible, horrible were play in this particular surface engagement. We'll see what happens with um, these destroyers, but otherwise we might be tempted to retreat out just to try and save that Akizuki before it goes down, but I doubt we'll have a lot of choice there. Look at that. Especially since it's dead in the water now, we did tell everything to stop, which is a stupid idea, of course. And we have uh, removed our smoke screens as well. So I think... Now that we have cruisers and Yamato and such firing on the destroyers, we should be a bit better. Um, how are we doing with this, actually? Very nice solution, indeed. We are firing out as well. Akizuki sinking. Three destroyers down. Not great. Not great at all. They were my favourite destroyers. They've been uh, rather long-serving as well, actually, right from the start of the game. But uh, I think it's uh, about... I think it's been a long time coming to actually having losses ourselves. It's been a no-loss run so far. Um, now that we're, what are we, 12 episodes in? Um, that's uh, certainly, uh, certainly our time has come, I think. 
Um, you know what? I think we're going to retreat out of this. Do want to preserve what we have left. So we, I think, uh, the two destroyers here. Well, the Benson was undamaged completely. That is so bad. That is so so bad. But uh, I think now this whole task force will actually have to uh, go back to Rebool and um, repair, which is not good at all. Not fun, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. And you know what, it shouldn't take too long for the Yamato at least to come back out because it is only minorly damaged, uh, which is a couple completely broken compartments, completely destroyed compartments there, uh, which is rather sad indeed. Um, so what we're going to do is just ensure we have a safe retreat out there and we are going to retreat with um, our carriers as well, which uh, is so, so sad to see. <laughs> so, so sad to see, actually. Um, we're going to launch, however, some fighters from the Hiyo to ensure our Yamato's safe uh, retreat there. Uh, because we do of course have some dive bombers coming in there and torpedo bombers which uh, we want to look out for so uh, i think we'll just ensure the retreat there and that may be the end of the video there i am afraid it's been rather busy one i feel okay so yamato force has finally made it back to rebool after an arduous journey uh with tears all around uh having to say goodbye to fellow comrades but uh we are going to have to send our tone our Mogami and Yamato back to release and repair. We have already done so with our two carriers, so let's just review what's going on in the dockyard. Um, so Hiyo will take three days as well as Ryujo. We did manage to get them there one day earlier than this task force. Congo's still in there, taking 14 days, and Yamato is going to take a whole 10 days. And that actually is absolutely fine. 10 days is nothing for a battleship. Um, as you can see, that will come up before our Congo. And you know what? We're going to get reimbursed for the whole fleet there so they can come straight back out. And that is absolutely not a problem there. Um, so we should be uh, resupplied in a few days, I believe. So that can come up with perhaps another Yama. So the Misashi, of course, to be very specific there. Um, and we will come out stronger than ever before once we have uh, uh, done that. So we're going to review our own losses. Uh, those three destroyers and that one engagement are actually our total losses throughout this uh, campaign. And if you ask me, that's actually not too bad, uh, losing three destroyers there. They are fairly numerous, the uh, Yugamos and Akizukis there. If we just double check um, exactly what we have. In fact, I think the Yugamos are perhaps the least numerous. Uh, where are we? DDs, uh, Yugamos, Yes, so eight. We have, of course, lost a couple, but uh, we do have a few outs there. We lost uh, one Yugama, of course, there. That's not a problem. Uh, we lost, um, yeah, the Makinami. I forget which one that was. Let's see. Yes, we've lost uh, the Akizuki as well. Let's just go over to double check. Yeah, so reviewing that, so we do have two Yugamos down and they were actually in this list, which is not a problem there at all. Do have many available and still actually out on the uh, surfaces of the water there. We do, of course, have this nasty task force to uh, protect um, protect Guadalcanal. So now is its time to shine. Uh, so we are going through a little bit of a weak spot here, but uh, absolutely not uh, as weak as we look, I feel with this massive task force. We do, of course, still have all of our submarines out and about. The I-17 here does need to be given a few orders there just to um, just to hunt down anything coming out of um, the New Hebrides there. Uh, but I think we're gonna be doing just okay. Of course, the Americans have taken a massive loss as well with the uh, Saratoga going down, if we look through here. Um, with this whole uh, task force going down very recently as well as that Yorktown going down recently as well. So um, I think we'll be absolutely fine there. That does just leave a wasp and a few bogues about now um, in terms of carriers. And with both of those Car North Carolinas down, the uh, American battleship situation is rather tenuous as well. Uh, if we go to their battleships, of course, you can see they only have two North Carolinas, as I'm sure you're all aware. So we are still waiting to see the four South Dakotas to uh, come out. Um, can't remember off the top of my head exactly what we sunk otherwise. They haven't sunk the Tennessee. 
sunk a New Mexico out of three. We have sunk the Pennsylvania there. Um, we haven't touched the Colorado. So don't, they do still have some options. Uh, campaign still very much uh, not over. Uh, that's not a problem at all there. So I think that's going to be the end of the episode though. Um, after that headache of a um, surface engagement, um, should have gone a lot smoother. We should perhaps have uh, once again need to learn from our mistakes and come into tactical view at some sort of distance. Uh, we would not have lost those destroyers if we weren't so close to the enemy for them to uh, attack us so easily. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please leave your feedback in the comments below or I'm very, very uh, appreciative of them. I do enjoy reading them. So uh, thank you very, very much for staying with us. I shall see you in the next episode. I've been the Edify Gamer and I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.